Hey Gathering Church, Pastor Kurt here and I'm in a familiar place but it's a place that we haven't been to in a while. I'm here at Creekside Elementary School where we used to gather every week on Sundays as a community of believers for worship and I decided to come out here today to take a walk and to pray for our Creekside community. Y'all, what a week it's been. It's been difficult. Um, this was a hard week for a number of reasons. And it feels like there are so many things happening and it's almost overwhelming. Not only were we dealing with the coronavirus and all the changes that has brought about in our lives, what it's done to some of our communities and the members of our community. But then this week we learned of the first child fatality due to the coronavirus in North Carolina. And this wasn't distant or far away. It was in our backyard. It was here, a Creekside student and one of our families had a child that was in her classroom. Her nickname was Yoshi and Evidently, she was just a, a shining light wherever she went. And so this week, we've lamented and mourned with the Soto family, and we've prayed for them. And because of your generosity, the church was able to make a donation to their family. So thank you so much for continuing to be the people of God in this time. And as if that weren't enough, there are also the protests and the demonstrations that are happening right now. And this is due to racial injustice and a history of the death of our black and brown brothers and sisters. And there is so much at play in this and we're not gonna solve it in one video or in one worship service or in one march or protest. Uh, but I was reminded this week of what the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said when he said that we must learn to live together as brothers as siblings or we will perish together as fools my hope and my prayer for us this week next week and into the future is that we will learn to live together as siblings as brothers and sisters and that the gathering church and and the church uh, universal will be an example of what it means to live together as brothers and sisters that we can listen to our brothers and sisters of color who are crying out, our siblings are saying, we're hurting, we're in pain, we need change to happen. I think the best thing we can do is to listen, to join them, and to do our best to work towards some of this change as we learn and lament and repent and learn to walk in new ways. I want to leave you with a passage from Isaiah 43. It's, it's been a comforting and a challenging passage for me um, in a number of ways, but it's especially comforting during this time and reminded me of, of kind of what we're going through these days. So in Isaiah 43, God says to the people, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. We're going to be walking through some fire. We're going to be going through rivers and God doesn't promise to take those things away from us or to keep us out of the fire, but promises to be with us. That's my prayer for us this week is that we'd recognize that God is with us in the midst of this time. And later in that passage, God says, you are my witnesses. I'm praying that we'll be faithful witnesses in our homes, in our streets, for our Creekside community and our surrounding community and across the world. Grace and peace, brothers and sisters.